Hello everybody, welcome back to the midweek Wednesday edition of What Blows My Turbo. So hey everybody, my you know my name is Jeremy Joe Earls. You know if you're new to the channel, you know hit the subscribe button. You know uh, check me out. You know we talk about over the road trucking type stuff. Uh, we try to do uh, comedy skits, try to make people laugh. You know because laughter I've always believed is the best medicine. You know so you know if you can get a good chuckle, you know on a daily basis, you know I like to I like to be a part of that. <laughs> but uh, something I like to talk about today is. You know, trip, trip planning. You know, like I live around, you know, the High Point, North Carolina area, all right? Uh, and what I do is I go up to Syracuse, around the Syracuse, New York area twice a week. You know, uh, it, it's pretty dedicated, you know, 99% uh, of the time is what I do. So, but whenever you, you go into a different area or, you know, whatever trip planning, there, there's several variables you know, they have to come into play. You know, uh, one is is distance. You know, uh, the distance never changes, okay? You know, uh, every now and then, you know, they'll, you know, cut a new highway or a bypass or, or what have you, you know, but, you know, for the most part, distance never, ever, ever, ever changes. So you always have that one constant variable. Uh, another variable is is time, you know, and so with that time, uh, let's say from High Point to Syracuse, High Point, North Carolina to Syracuse, New York, uh, that takes roughly ten and a half hours, uh, averaging you know about you know sixty five miles an hour. Okay, well, I can't never do it no better than that because unfortunately I drive. A government truck and you know you want to stay within the parameters of the law you know so but that being said you know time will never change in your favor you know either it's going to take me ten and a half hours to get there or it's going to take me longer you know so you kind of got to plan ahead for that you know and that's just straight drive time that's not counting you know whenever you know you're a truck driver you're under the rules of the FMCSA, you know, and we have these e-logs. So once we, you know, get into our day, we have to take a mandatory 30 minute break. So now we're going from High Point, North Carolina, Syracuse, New York, 10 and a half hours drive time, plus 30 minute break. You know, that's 11 hours right off the bat, you know, before you even take off out of the yard. You know, you know you got 11 hours before I get to my destination. And then with that being said, you know, you got your 10 minute pre-trip, your 10 minute post-trip. So now you add another 20 minutes onto it. And just for easy math, you know, we'll say we added 15 minutes on both ends. And so now we're sitting at, you know, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half hours, you know, uh, to do your trip. Okay. So your distance is always the same. You know, you're not going to be able to save any time, you know. But then you have to take into consideration, I might hit a traffic jam. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Traffic jams happen, especially over here on the East Coast where I go up and down the road, traffic jams, they just pop out of nowhere. You know, so all of a sudden, you're just cruising along and then you see some brake lights and you're like, oh, shit. You know, this is uh, this is messing up my my time. You know, because it won't it won't ever work in your favor. So you have to take into consideration that I might hit a traffic jam. You know, and with that being said, so let's just take into consideration you're gonna hit a 30 minute traffic jam. You know, so now you're up to 12 hours. You know, to go from High Point, North Carolina, to Syracuse, New York. Yeah. You know? uh, Winter time is especially bad too, you know, because, you know, winter storms, you know, uh, when you're driving up and down, you know, to, you know, the mountain area, you know, uh, up where I go to, you get a lot of lake effect, snow, uh, snowstorms coming down out of Canada and whatnot, you know, so you take consideration, all right, I, I might hit some snow, you know, but you, you try to watch 
the weather reports and other entities like I'm on my phone constantly you know just you know what's the weather look like what's it gonna look like in two days from now you know uh, just constantly trying to feed myself enough information to where you know I can leave out at a timely manner you know get as much home time as I possibly can you know and then leave out and then be where I'm going in time to do a 10 hour break and then get my day started the next day. All right, so let's just say we take into consideration the distance and the time, okay? So we got that, you know, we got a 30 minute break, pre-trip, post-trip. Uh, we, we just give ourselves an extra 30 minutes, you know, say for a traffic jam. Uh, we looked at the weather, we seen, oh shoot, it's gonna be snowing up here, it's supposed to start snowing up here around six o'clock, you know, we were like, well, crap, you know, I need to leave out early enough where I can be up there before then. So if, it's, if the weather's saying it's going to snow where I'm going at, at, starting at 6 p.m., and I know it's going to take me roughly 11 and a half hours when I leave the yard to get there, well, I'm probably going to try to leave the yard around 6 o'clock in the morning, you know? That way it allows me time to do what I need to do, you know? And I get up there a little early, you know, it gives me a big window, you know, to where if shit happens, because when you drive truck, shit happens. That's just the nature of the beast. So you always have to calculate shit happening because shit happens. You know, so now I get up there, my first stop opens up, let's say seven o'clock in the morning, all right? So if I wanna be able to start rolling at seven o'clock in the morning from stop to stop to stop, because I usually have multiple stops, anywhere between like 10 to 20 different stops. Well then, I need to make sure that I get up there before nine o'clock the night before. So that way I can have my full 10 hour break, wake up, do my pre-trip, get my day started. You know, so there's lots of variables, you know, that has to go into play whenever you're planning your trip out. You know, uh, you know, consult the map, you know, uh, use your GPS. Your GPS helps you with, you know, a time reference, you know, and they're pretty good, but there's, there's no substitution for the map itself, you know, when you're planning your trip. You know, whether you're a truck driver or you're not a truck driver, you know, the map is very, 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 very important. So, you know, now that you're done, did everything, you calculated everything. Usually I calculate everything in my head because I've done it so much, I'm just like, chuk, 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 chuk. all right, cool, it's gonna take me this much time, I need to leave out this time, let me get burned the road up. But, you know, those are just variables that whenever you're, you know, a new truck driver, just stuff that you, you need to take into consideration once you get in your day going, you know, so that way, you know, you can be on time, you know, uh, get your job done. You can get it done in a safe manner to where you're not feeling so rushed. Because I know with these e-logs, you know, not that I cheated in the past, but with these e-logs, there ain't no cheating going on. You know, so I know a lot of times whenever I'm losing time on that bad boy, it, uh, man, it makes me, makes me feel anxious. You know, and, uh, my anxiety you know, and it makes me where, you know, if, if I get tired like eight hours up the road, you know, and I feel like I need to take a little nap, well, I can't do it if I didn't allow myself time whenever I planned my trip. You know, uh, and the most time I don't take naps because I'm, I'm the greatest ever, but if I needed to, with the e logs going and I waited till the last minute to leave out, I've got to push through on that time because I can't. I can't get that time back. So, you know, with with all that being said, you know, plan your trips accordingly. You know, take into consideration your variables, you know, weather, traffic jams, distance, and time. And, uh, you know, just plan your trip correctly and accordingly and get your job done. My name's Emma Joe Earls, and I'll support that message.